Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a perfect school picture um, hair and makeup tutorial and this is just what the makeup looks like. And very simple but very perfect for pictures as the title says and this is just on this is just my take on what I do and kind of some of some tips on how you can make your face look flawless and not so washed out of color. And so if you guys would like to see how I did this hair and makeup, you can go ahead and keep watching. First I'm going to take a light brown matte color and put that all over my lid. And then I'm going to take a darker brown color with with a crease crease brush and put that in my crease. And I wouldn't recommend any shimmery colors just because they will reflect from taking the picture and so it I feel like it just looks better if you have matte colors in pictures than like bright shimmery all over the eye <laughs> colors but that's just me if you like that then go ahead and do that a small brush and take a lighter color like a white and Put that in the corners just to brighten up my eyes. I'm going to take my Wet n Wild H2O Proof Black Liquid Eyeliner. I've had this forever and it's almost getting like goopy and disgusting, but I'm going to... I'm going to put that as really, really close to my lash line. Okay, after that, I'm going to curl my lashes so they look big and voluminous in the pictures. And then use one of my favorite mascaras, the Clump Crusher from CoverGirl in black. I'm going to take this angled eyeshadow brush and this dark color and just fill it. And then I'm take one of these brushes and just make sure that all the hairs in my eyebrows are going the same way. For some reason, I don't know if it's just me, but I feel like I look weird if I don't have anything like underneath my eyes, like any eyeliner. So, um, or at least in pictures. So I'm just going to take Blackout by Naked 2 from my palette sitting here. And I'm just going to line underneath my eyes with it. So first off, I'm going to use this Revlon Photo Ready Bam, in your face. Um, the Revlon Photo Ready Foundation and I've used it before in like my dance team pictures and everything and it makes honestly makes your face look so literally flawless and um it makes it very matte so that your face doesn't look shiny and all that stuff that you don't want in your pictures. So 
I'm just gonna pump some out on my hand. And just dot it around my face. And you really have to make sure that you get it on your neck because you don't want your face and your neck, obviously, to be looking two different colors, especially on your picture day. So then I'm going to take the stippling brush by e.l.f. I still haven't gotten around to getting the Sonia Kashuk one or a different one. But so this is what I'm going to use for now and just blend it all in. And I feel like with the stippling brush, it makes your face look a lot more airbrushed and a lot more flawless so that's why I like using the stippling brush instead of just like my hand and so I'll go all around and take a small like a little smaller foundation brush and kind of just smooth out the areas where it might have like brush strokes brush strokes and make sure that I get in all these little corners and kind of just smooth everything out and for concealing I'm going to be using of course well for brightening I should say. On my eyes I'm going to use the Rimmel Match Perfection in Fairlight. Oh and the foundation I was in 004 Nude. So I'm just going to put this underneath my eyes again so I don't look so tired. And I kind of bring it underneath my eyebrows to give a little more highlight. And then blend in on the other side. And then for any extra concealing or redness, usually that foundation covers up any redness really well. So if, it's, if you just have any other problem areas, then I just go back. And then I'm going to just dab on them. Okay, and then to set everything, I'm going to take my Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder in Translucent. And my Kabuki brush. And... And you really want a matte base for pictures so that you don't look shiny or oily. So I would recommend one of the Shine Free powders. These are really inexpensive. And then, so my face looks a little more skinnier and a little more shaped. I'm going to take my Rimmel Bronzer and... Sun dance and contour my cheeks, my neck, my jawline, and then my forehead. For a blush, I'm going to take the Rimmel London 018 Pink Sorbet Blush and just a fluffy brush like this. And then just put it on my cheek, just to give a little more color because pictures are known to wash out all the color in your face and so it helps you look a little more lively if you have some blush on it. You have a darker, more barrier color of lips. It'll help bring out the whiteness in your teeth. This Mary Kay. Pink diamonds, little, I don't know if this is full size or sample size, but, and just put this on 
my lips. And then just blending it in. And that is the finished makeup. Okay, so now hair time. Okay, so for the hair, I straightened it, whatever, and um, I always have problems with my bangs, so actually today they're not looking that bad, but um, I kind of like to have it out of my face because I don't want my hair to end up like this or like this, like they're just a mess usually, so if I know I'm going to be taking pictures like this tutorial that I'm doing for you for your school pictures. I will either just kind of like pull them back and then, you know, brush this. Or another idea is you can either braid it or sometimes I like to twist it and just bring one over the other just to give a little more detail. And then take some bobby pins and just. So that is it for the hair. Um, if you guys would like to see like a whole version of how I straighten my hair, you can leave it in the comments below or just like this video and I will do that for you guys. If you guys like, oh, how should I do this? Um, if you guys liked this video and want to see more Back to School videos, you can also thumbs up this video or leave comments down below to mention what videos you'd like to see or any ideas of videos and thank you guys so much for watching please subscribe if you enjoyed and I love you guys so much and I'll talk to you guys later bye